Season 14 is almost here. As the next major update for Sea of Thieves approaches, its main screen's been revealed and multiple brand new features have been teased. Traps and trickery are almost upon us. Welcome to Ghost Flash, the only place to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And today, we have a lot to get through, because Sea of Thieves Season 14 has been confirmed to be starting on October 17th, and many of the new features that are coming in the update have been teased. Not only that, but there have been some very interesting developments in-game, with multiple new journals appearing around the map relating to the Sunken Kingdom. So let's just get straight into things and find out what's going on with Sea of Thieves' mischief season. To kick things off, this is the season 14 main screen. And alongside it, we got its soundtrack, which you'll be hearing in the background of this video. There is a lot we can deduce from this screen, so let's just go for it. First up, in the top left, there's one of the chests that was added in season 11. However, every now and again, you might be able to spot it has a player inside it. This was a mechanic that was teased in the 2024 preview event, with the idea being that a player can get into a chest, and if no one notices them there, they can be picked up or walk around an enemy boat, for example. I'm really glad this feature did make the cut, because it's going to make gameplay so much more interesting. Obviously, this season has an incredible stealth focus, so it really plays into that. Speaking of stealth, in the background of the visual, we can see a Tucker, or at least someone sneaking about trying to not be seen. They're in all black. I'm sure there'll be some cosmetics that are all black in this update, considering the whole Tucker identity, as I've just mentioned. In the bottom left, we can see a gunpowder barrel with blow darts on it. Another thing that was teased in the 2024 preview event, these will have a variety of different effects. We can see a couple different types of firing tubes on top of the gunpowder barrel, and in the skeleton skull, presumably one of the darts that we can fire out of it. There also appears to be a different type of blow dart which is glowing white just above the map, stuck into an equipment chest. These will trigger a variety of effects, but the blow dart will use up one of the weapon slots. Another one of the weapon slots is going to be taken up by the grapple gun, which is confirmed to be coming this season again earlier this year in the preview event, which is going to be awesome. In fact, we can see the grapple gun in this visual on top of the journal in the middle left. Moving on, we can see different types of traps, most notably bear traps, which will come on to later in the video because there was a tease completely surrounding bear traps over on X. In this, however, we can see one quite prominently just below the Season 14 sign on the right, but also a bear trap with a firebomb in it, so presumably this is confirming the normal types of traps, which I assume will just keep players stuck in a certain position and deal some damage, but also fire traps which will maybe light players on fire when they step through it. Something interesting to note is that in this main screen there's a crate over on the bottom right containing a cursed cannonball, a bone caller, and a couple fireworks. Obviously these are all in the game and don't necessarily hint to anything, but I do wonder if maybe there'll be another focus to these or something else with them containing them, I'm not sure, but just interesting how they're there. They are quite mischievous though so it could just be a design element. Finally, there's a new type of food on the stove, and I'm not going to go into it just yet because there's a couple more bits surrounding that, so just remember that for a little bit later. Moving on to some of the social media teases now, there have been three videos in total released on X. Starting off with the first one, we have a video of the bear trap. Here we can see it placed down and fully in action. Considering knowledge from the preview event and the nature of this update, I think it's safe to assume that this is going to be a player place trap, something you'll be able to carry around with you and activate, which is going to be very exciting, especially if there's multiple types. It is on a dig spot, so I wonder if we're going to have to maybe bury it somehow and then when someone digs an item up they get trapped in it, I don't know, we'll see. The next one is surrounding crouching. It's a pretty simple one, crouching has been confirmed for a while now, but we can see that in action, we can see players crouching up and down, something that it's amazing, you'd think, see if these would have had it, if you ask someone, you know, that's going to be playing in a month, you know, would you, when you think crouching was added, I'm sure they wouldn't say a month, 
Cratching is something that I think has been long overdue for a while, though I think it will be shaking up the meta quite a bit in terms of the noise reduction, especially when going around enemy ships. Finally, we have that fruit again. This tease was showing that off, and we'll go into more detail in just a second. There's a couple more things I want to cover first before we talk about it. Starting off with more social media stuff, except it's not video related this time. There were a couple graphics released on X as well, and this was the first one here. Obviously, it's keeping very in line with the trapster, tricky, mischievous kind of thing. We see irons and chains on the left hand side, but it says, beware suspicious storage. Check a strut, check your L, and it looks like something was written there, potentially loot, but something wasn't completed. It's hard to decipher exactly what this means, but perhaps this is playing into the whole players jumping into chests thing. Or maybe there'll be a way to fake storage crates or put explosives in storage crates when interacting with. I don't know, this one's cryptic as I say, so if you have any ideas, please do comment them down below. The second one is this graphic. All new, again, something was probably going to be written there, this is a very uncompleted nature. Then we see board, climb, loot. And then there's also a feather covering what looks to be a bee. What we can deduce from this graphic is details about the brand new weapons. Starting off with the bee on the left hand side, presumably that's going to say blow darts. Because if we zoom in on that poster and up the contrast, we can see four words. The first one we can't really make out because the scroll's covering it, but we can see poison, law, and mimic. Presumably, blow dart effects. Mimic is going to be awesome if you can literally mimic another player. That is going to be game changing, or perhaps a skeleton. Genuinely, it'll be so awesome. Can't wait to see that. Lure is presumably the sound ones that we've been already told about in the preview event, and Poison it speaks for itself. But we can't see that final one. Then for the grapple gun, there's not too much of substance other than board climb loot, it's just everything you can do with it. You can board a ship with it, you can climb rocks and mountains with it, and you can also loot with it. Okay then, you've waited long enough, let's discuss the stuff that's going on in-game and the brand new mysterious fruit. First off, the tarot cards at Port Merrick have been back in action. There are only two words that we can currently see, and they are sleep and merfolk. However, around the map there have been three new journals as of making this video all to do with the merfolk and by siren murals. It appears to be in the ancient isles at the moment. They're by Diving Bell who actually already has journals in the Sunken Kingdom. The first one on Discovery Ridge reads, Once more I met with the merfolk. They told me about the war in which the sirens attacked everyone, ancient and merfolk alike. The Sea Queen, she's on the wall here, was vindictive and her guards, the sirens, were ever vigilant. The merfolk were easily detected by the sirens, the ancients too, all because of the agreement between their people and the ancients. They then said they would tell me more near images of some gatekeepers here on Discovery Ridge. The second one, also on Discovery Ridge, reads, The agreement that the ancients had with the merfolk was to return them to their vessels. One of them would surface, as they do today, to save the poor castaway and return them safely to their ship. The trouble was, their presence could be sensed by their watery cousins, the sirens, and the element of surprise was lost. For how they solved this thorny issue, they said they would meet at Thieves' Haven. Then, the third and final journal, moving to Thieves' Haven. The merfolk had a delicacy that they favoured above all, and they shared this with the ancients. It was called the Merfruit, and their people had laced it with a special enchantment. This would release the mermaid in question from its duties, and it could dive away. Keen to tell me more, they are leading me to the Shrine of the Flooded Embrace. That journal released today, as of recording this video, and with there being two weeks until season 14, presumably there's also going to be two more journals, making the total number five, which is somewhat of a norm for Sea of Thieves when it comes to journals. Now, we know this fruit that we've been seeing is called the Merfruit, and whilst we don't know exactly what it's going to do, perhaps it's going to let us dive and maybe teleport back to our ship in some capacity? I don't think it's going to be just a health thing, there'd be no point adding a new type of fruit for that. I think because it says in this journal it's been laced with a special enchantment, it's going to have some form of effect. What that's going to be, only time will tell, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. This is very exciting, to almost have a buff, a power up, can you believe it, in Sea of Thieves? It's crazy. 
Before we wrap up this video, there is two more things. Going back to the cards real quick, a theory from the Ancient Isles University, a Sea of Thieves lore group, is that we're going to be learning more about how the Sunken Warrior put the Sirens into a deep slumber in the War of the Sunken Kingdom, as detailed in the Legend of the Sunken Kingdom Voyages. God, there's a lot of things with Sunken Kingdom in their name. And also in-game, there is a bear trap on an island, there's a skeleton. On Sea Dog's Rest, actually, in particular, it's quite funny where DeMarco died. There is a bear trap. So, again, another tease for traps coming to Sea of Thieves. Oh, and I almost forgot, there's another one on Old Faithful. And actually, the alt text in Sea of Thieves' official tweet calls it a spring trap. So perhaps there'll be different types of traps again. We already kind of know that with the fire trap, but that is all the traps in game. I'll stop going on about traps now. I know it's getting a bit long. But there we go, that is everything that has come out about Sea of Thieves Season 14, the season of mischief and stealth. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Are you excited for Season 14 and what feature are you looking forward to the most? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy them, please do consider leaving a like. It really does help out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. My Reddit one hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. There's going to be a ton of stuff coming out about Season 14 over the next couple weeks, so you definitely don't want to miss any of it. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.